expect him to be, but uh, I believe we've been invaded by a winner as we are joined by Casual Tom, Hello. who has won this match 2-0. to zero. Feels good, man. Yeah, I'm going to say this out right. Y'all two have performed excellently. Y'all have been pretty much even for a good majority of the both races, actually. Common Sense had your number a little bit, especially with the advantage of the crash zips. But hmm. it's just a lot of unfortunate errors that had a... Uh, Com common put common sense just back enough for you to pretty much secure both races. Yeah, he was keeping me updated in the race time chat. Um, I, I saw well, from him where uh, he had some, I guess we'll say misfortune, um, unfortunately. But uh, based on like the messages he was sending, it seemed like yeah, those would have been really close races. I just had better luck this time, I guess. Let's see. Race one, I think you took the lead in Wiley four. Uh, wow. Wiley two, I think it was in this second race. But Thomas Sennon did have the advantage seeing Wiley first in both races. Wow, both. Yes. You yeah. got a comment? Sorry to interrupt, That's but cool. he has finished. Officially, with a time of 33 minutes and 31 seconds, GD is the comment for toughing this one out in spite of some unfortunate setbacks in both seas. But Common Center has still performed very well in spite of those in spite of those issues. But it's just unfortunate that it just kind of ended that way on Common Center's end because both of y'all have played. Excellently, it's just one made more mistakes than the other, sadly. Yeah, well, I mean, thanks. I do appreciate that. Um, you know, it's a, a shame when things go wrong for someone else. I mean, I know I'd probably have hard feelings if I had. Uh, I mean, he described like you know some of the stuff he was going through, and especially like I said, the pace he was on like, could have outpaced me. But uh, I guess I just kind of held it together, um, playing it a little bit safe. You know, I wanted to say in that first seed, I did uh, take it in. I guess it's semi-intentional. I don't know if that, if that even counts against Quick Man, a death. I knew I had E-Tanks, but it's just, it's Buster only, so I just want to make sure I had him for the end, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was something I wanted to ask about, because that was one of the things that came up in the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, I want to ask about that first seed from you, because it looked like, you know, some bigger strategy was in play that I wasn't immediately aware of. No, just and... safety. Okay, so long-term safety was the plan. Okay. I didn't know how many E-Tanks I was going to need on refights, for example. And I think it was still like early enough in the seed where you don't know if there's going to be like a really tough Robot Master or whatever. But uh, no, I mean, they're mostly pretty fine. The first enemy had some interesting um, Buster Immune enemies in the stage. Second seed, I thought was, I mean, definitely the easier of the two. Um, but the first one did have, uh, I was laughing pretty hard, uh, you know, for the first and second boss being weak to Buster. What a night for that. Oh yeah, the Wily, the first, uh, the dragon going down to the Buster and the Picotan blocks also going down to the Buster. So yeah, yeah. I mean, eh, not a whole lot else to really say. I, I want to ask one question though, because you know I did say I was going to race on Buster only, and you know I've agreed to race on Buster only in the past, and a lot of times when I do, I'll um, end up kind of violating the rules at whatever point where I kind of just give up and see no other way out and then later it gets pointed out to me that uh i could have like you know not used a weapon or utility at whatever point i was thinking and i think i mostly complied maybe entirely um if first form wily is not weak to buster the second form of Y machine the second form will not be weak to buster if the first one is not weak to buster is that correct that that is correct okay good so... then i did comply i think didn't occur to me till like at, like near the end of the second seed. I was in Wily six uh, in seed two. I was like, wait a minute, should I have checked Buster on the second form? I, I didn't, but that was like the only thing I could th really think of tonight. But uh, no, really, um, unintentional deaths. Really, I mean, I, we can count that Quick Man one because I was kind of taking a chance there. I thought I'd probably die, but again, I I hadn't died at all at that point. I knew I had like at least one extra life that I'd picked up along the way. I was like, screw that. I'll keep my E tanks. I I don't do Buster only for a rando unless I'm racing Kame. So um, let me just make sure I'm prepared uh, going into the refights.
do you know who your next opponent is going to be in the bracket? Uh, is it not decided yet? Let me take a quick look. I think it's not decided well, yet. I think that race is Saturday, am I correct? Let me see. Well, while you're figuring things out, we do officially have a comment sent in, in the server. Kame, good effort, but yeah, just a lot of unfortunate things just kind of just happened. Dude, I died to quick lasers again. Ah, it's not even randomized. What Sag. am I doing? What am I doing? It's terrible. Following it's terrible. in Prodigy's footsteps, apparently. Oh, man. I know better, too. <laughs> so did he. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, honestly, you have done a... G you raced a solid race in, sp in spite of getting both crash zips and doing them pretty much to a T, especially the one with the with the shrimps, because that that usually under those circumstances would have been an insanely annoying attempt. Even with the new pause buffering mechanics, do doing that under those conditions still still worth noting. Oh, yeah, some good things happened for sure, and I mean, the second race, I was on a really good pace until, uh, I guess I slipped on some ice or something while fighting the dragon. I don't I don't know what happened there, but... Mm. I blame Mega Man 2 physics. Those was... extra slippery physics, they <laughs> don't do anyone any favors on one tile gaps, on one tile uh, uh, floors. No, they do not, and... I, I was I was really upset by that because um, I was I was like not only on PB pace but like by about a minute well close to a minute anyway. I was I was I was posed to Ooh. to have a really happy finish to that race there, but do no 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 that happened and then guts tank happened and guts tank is something that for me is just a consistent problem every time I can't use lemons. Which is every time, it's 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 like, it's a gamble. I might live, I might not. I don't know. You know, speaking of PB, it just occurred to me I was using the wrong splits for this race. I have a set of splits for a randomizer buster only. Let me see where I would have landed on that. What's my PB for that? Because I might have PB today. Oh no, I think. Yeah, no, that would have been a buster only PB, but I used the wrong splits. <laughs> my PB was like a thirty-two oh nine. I got like a thirty-one eighteen or something. So. Nice. GGS. Yeah, for buster only. GGs, Thanks, man. Now, well yeah. done. Good time for it, too. Yeah, hitting, hitting something like that in a, in a randomized setting where literally anything and everything could happen and getting a solid time and that being the PB to boot, definitely worth a lot of praise. So, GG's not only the PB, but also for the win as you move, as you move on to the brackets. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, you know, GG's Kame, I mean, I, you know, I always look forward to doing Buster only and... Uh, you know, um, our, uh, you know, I don't know if I should use the term rivalry or whatever, but our history, I should say, goes back all the way to the beginning for me. Um, you know, so, um, you know, me, me meeting you under Buster Only circumstances and then you introducing me to the randomizer and its community. So, as always, thanks so much for that. Um, I always look forward to these, and um, I, you know, as far as I can tell, I, I always look forward to uh, taking on the Buster Only challenge uh, with, you know, whoever wants it, especially if it's Kame Senden. Well, I appreciate that, Tom. It's always a pleasure. Um, you know, I always, I always appreciate whenever anybody wants to do do the the gentleman's agreement and stick to the Buster. It's it's definitely never expected. I, you know, I enjoy joining these things anyway, just to get more race experience and try to show folks something a little bit different. I mean, it's a randomizer, so it can be hard to show something different when everything's always different. But if I get lucky, I end up fishing for weapons a little less. <laughs> yeah, same. And I do, I do believe I did comply with the rules this time. Although, I mean, you can watch for yourself and be the judge. Be sure, let me know if I need to be punished and disciplined. <laughs> well, uh, I'm pretty sure I've been, I've been around the Buster Only block with the randomizer, of course. I'm sure having my magic with common sense every so often when I do enter, and I'm pretty sure that for the most part you have definitely complied with those bust only rules. So I'm pretty sure if I give you a passing grade, pretty sure common sense would too. <laughs> yeah, and the last the last time I, that we met up, I think there was only one very minor violation that didn't even matter. It's just yeah. I, I I think you got it. it I trust. There's you. probably something on <laughs> if I recall the last time I remember it was like a couple years ago or whatever. 
I recall it was probably on the ladder climb on the way to Dragon. I probably used, like, Time Stopper or something, maybe, to deal with something. But, I mean, that's, you know, pause canceling um, the knockback in this version of the randomizer makes Buster only that much more accessible. So, you know, nothing yeah. to worry about in a lot of circumstances where otherwise I probably would have, uh, you know, had a little bit more of a hard time. So, um, yeah, it just it, it does make it easier now with um, as, like, have a lot of the uh, quality of life improvements in more recent uh, versions of the randomizer. Oh, absolutely, and and it's it's great because you know some of them screens like the one you're talking about there on Wiley One. You know, before that trick was was put in there, that there really sometimes wasn't a choice but to use something like Flash Stop or so, or Time Stop, whatever. They yeah. confuse me because they mixed up the names on between two and four. Time Stopper. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, yeah, so sometimes you had to use that or Metal Blade or something of that nature, and and there just wasn't a choice. So you know. Even then, it's whatever. <laughs> right on. All right, so to recap, we have Casual Tom moving on from losers waiting for the match between Siberian Bull and Chrissy, which is scheduled. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Unfortunately for Kami Sinny, he is eliminated from the tournament, but regardless, both of these runners have put up a very, a very valiant effort, of course, be sure to fo follow our follow our runners as they really put themselves out there to show the best of what the randomizer can be, even in these Buster only conditions. And of course, follow all the other information within the Mega Man Two randomizer. And if you, by some interesting scenario, want to do so, you can follow other Freako and I. But yeah, they, we're not important. The runners are, so that that's that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm not exactly trying to build a brand right now, so don't follow me. I don't stream, so yeah. But yeah, with with that, we're gonna go ahead and begin closing stuff out. We do have some matches that are scheduled for the next few days, even tomorrow. Wednesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight, we got Blue Bomber and Sandra Sama in another losers in another losers bracket matchup. Coming up the following day on Thursday, 29th, at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight, a very important matchup as winners finals between Satoko Attic 96 and Charlie Boy. They will duke it out for the right to be the first to make it to the grand finals. So that will be a very big matchup that no one should miss. But we also have the aforementioned Chrissy and Siberian Bull 9 match, also in loser bracket, coming a few days later on Saturday, uh, August the 31st at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight. So we got three more matches to go, at least scheduled, while several more waiting in the wings. So be sure to stay tuned to the family of Speed Gaming Channels as the, the c tournament is slowly coming to a head. Just a handful of matches before we crown a champion, but we still got to get those last races in. So, of course, once again, thanks to Speed Gaming for once, uh, once again allowing our tournament to be showcased. Our randomizer, our little baby, s started with Duck Fist, the original creator, and all those that have contributed within the randomizer within the community you know who you are i can name you all but holy crap we just we just all love the randomizer the same and of course this is lv cree congratulations to to casual tom for winning comment setting for his efforts and my site and and doing commentary along with me and we also will close us out frico the floor is yours Oh, I've upgraded from being your sidekick. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm no more Robin to your Batman. It looks like uh, we're fellow members of the Justice League again. So with that said, we'll sum it up and then make way for whatever may be next. So we have Casual Tom moving on 2-0 to Kama Senin. Unfortunately, that'll be the end of Kama Senin's run in this tournament. And with that, shut it down. Have a good night, everybody. Take Thanks care, much, everyone. everyone. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. All right, fam. So, um, yeah, it seemed like 
you know, it was actually going to be pretty close. Um, wish I would use the correct splits, because that is a buster-only PB for me. So, um, yeah, why not? I think I'll probably put this on YouTube. It'll be fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, again, really glad I took on the Buster Only Challenge, and again, for anyone who may not be aware, probably a lot of you are, but in case some of you are not, Kame Senden is a very big deal in, um, the Buster Only realm of Mega Man games, um, he's, uh, you know, got his own, um, very organized community of, uh, Buster Only enthusiasts, and, um, you know, he's, um, he himself has not only, um, crafted his own personal set of rules um, for uh, Buster Only um, for Mega Man, like 1 through 11, Rockman and Forte, X 1 through 8, um, and uh, the Zero games, I think the ZX games. I think he hasn't touched the Game Boy games yet, though, although I don't really see why not. Although, like, once you get into some of the later Game Boy games, Buster Only gets kind of, like, of a, kind of a bit of a pain with, like, a lot of damage boosting on spikes and, like, Y stages, especially in the last couple, I think. Plus, Mega Man 3 Game Boy is just brutal, and 1 isn't really much of a picnic either. 2 is a bit on the easier side, almost not in a good way, but, you know, it's approachable, and it's got its own uh, things about it. But, uh, anyway, those are great games. Um, I'd encourage him to get into that at some point, but... Um, gotta always mention, Kamen Senden, not only did he do the Triple M, in which um, he beat all the games I mentioned that he uh, crafted rules for, and has, like, times for on the board or whatever, um, Buster only... But he did it all in one sitting. I think it took something like under just under 30 hours, I think, straight, consecutive play. Uh, that had to have been painful. And I caught some of it, and I was certainly there to like you know cheer him on uh, by the end of it. He mentioned, I think, recently somewhere, I think he's going to do it again. I don't know what the reason is for that. I don't know if like rules have changed somewhere or if like another game is being added or something. But he mentioned something about doing it again. Why? I don't know. But like the, anyway... You know, if you uh, have any respect for Buster only, you should have great respect for Kame Senden. He's a great dude. He did, in fact, introduce me to the randomizer. And, um, you know, give him a follow. He also, uh, I think, was on the dev team for um, for the Messenger, believe it or not. Like, he worked on that. Or at least the DLC, I think he did. I think Sea of Stars, he was involved in um, the production of that as well. It was, like, by the same... I don't know if people are aware that it's, like, I think the same studio or something. Uh, he could correct me on that if he... Uh, should like but um anyway um i don't really have anything else to share with you guys today i don't think it's early in the week it's kind of late it is my bedtime i still need to get ready for bed um i'm really glad that i was able to schedule the match when i did um you know kind of good do with me at like just the perfect time my kid's been going to bed a little earlier lately i don't know how long that's gonna last um which is good um good for everyone and one other thing i want to make sure i mention too is that Right before this match started, like, when Creed gave, like, the 30-minute warning, we were having, a, like, the biggest hailstorm I've ever seen. And there was, like, lightning, and the power flashed out, and the, the internet went out for, like, a few minutes. I had to be like, uh, I don't know, we can try, but I'm having, uh, possible technical difficulties. He was like, uh, could have told me that earlier. I was like, uh, it just happened. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, lucky me, um, it ended up, um, working out. Certainly can't complain. PB in uh, Mega Man 2 Randomizer Buster only. Of course, like, you know, any PBs compared with much earlier versions of the Randomizer. I'm not kidding. These quality of life improvements I've been added, including pause canceling knockback, including uh, fast energy refills that were not present um, in, like, the earliest versions of the Randomizer that I used to compete in. Um, you know, it, it, do, it does make for, like, you know, it makes everything more accessible, and especially Buster only, but it certainly makes... Um, you know, faster PB is more possible and more frequent. But still, I mean, you know, it's um, a great time as always, and uh, I encourage everyone, whatever. Now, I am um, within uh, the next, I got like, it's a week from next weekend. I start grad school, and I expect the terminal to still be going on by then. I don't know if I'll still be in it or not. That's going to be rough. Life's about to get a lot more busy. We'll see how much, of the, how much video games I can even play. It's pretty much my worst nightmare, but I mean, again, when work says, hey, if you go to grad school, we'll cover it. You don't say no, you know what I mean? That's an extra... It's gonna, you know, be some pain for a while. I haven't been to school in 20 years. It's certainly not what I want to do right now. 10 years ago, maybe, and even then. But, um, you know, it's certainly gonna, um, you know, provide, a, like, a cushion, a safety net. Um, some, an extra bit of padding on my resume, if I ever need that for anything else. And, um, you know, should hopefully, um, you know, make my job, uh, you know, 
something that uh, maybe slightly less anxiety inducing and um, you know help me do better there so without uh, getting into it too much thanks again everyone for watching my um, next opponent is either going to be Chrissy or Siberian Bull 9 Siberian Bull 9 you know I've raced him a lot in the past he's beaten me I think on occasion like in weeklies I think overall um, I might be stronger but anything can happen but it's best of three so I mean I don't intend to really practice the randomizer a whole lot and I really don't mind if I get eliminated or like I mean it, it'd be cool to, like advance but like you know it's I can certainly see the silver lining if I get knocked out of this uh, tournament at any point this year because um, life's about to get a whole lot more busy so um, uh, New Mega Man X hack. That's the one being discussed in the uh, Mega Man ROM hacking Discord. Um, green Biker Dude. So that's something I would very much look forward to. And certainly I'll play that. I don't care. Homework can wait. Some things, like some new Mega Man hacks, I will play. Don't worry. Um, and I did, in fact, um, in my... Um, my... Uh, my uh, shall I say... Spare time. Like yes yesterday I had a bit of spare time. I got lucky. I played um, all the way up to... Um, the point where I can continue streaming um, Final Fantasy VI Reimagined, like the start of the Magitech Research Facility. I'm ready to stream more of that when I get the time. It's going to take some time. Really, who knows when it's going to be, but I'm ready for it. And also, I started playing another hack by the guy that made Final Fantasy VI to IV, the guy that puts the Final Fantasy IV characters in Final Fantasy VI. He's still got more work to do on that, and I'll wait um, until he does that work, like to convert the Agarus sprite into an actual Rosa sprite and possibly some gameplay changes there. Once he does that, I'll continue from like the Narsh battle or whatever. But until that happens, I don't know if it's abandoned or not. He said he has the intention of putting more work into it. We'll see if and when he does. But anyway, I think his name's Nico C. 1991. He started work on... I guess he got a little bit distracted, but it's kind of interesting. Another Final Fantasy VI hack. And, um... First I told him, look, like, I really can't take this on right now. I've already played through, like, the first four hours of the game. Like, three times in the last, like, month. But, uh, anyway, I had some extra spare time yesterday. I just kind of started doing it. And, um... There may be another fun surprise to share with you guys at some point, whenever that's ready. He's working on something else... Um, you know, not like a full game hack or anything, but like, you know, some kind of early game changes, like up through like the scenarios or whatever, and another, yet another Final Fantasy VI hack that could be worth a look. So stay tuned for that. Um, and there's even more, we're, we're still discussing some balance changes for um, Final Fantasy VI, A Soldier's Contingency um, for 2.0. And, um, you know, some weapons may get like some buffs or whatever, and some characters may get access to some gear that they didn't have access to originally that could make for some even more interesting and exciting changes. I may do yet another recording uh, to show off some more changes in that, and it may be um, a fight against uh, the last boss again, which I understand has a new little surprise plan for 2.0. So it could be worth it. Um, it's things I hope to do if I get the free time. And you know, I can probably make free time like from time to time, especially during the holiday season, but it's just going to be like fewer and further between. I am getting older, I am getting more tired. But it's not that I'm not enjoying this stuff. It's just that, you know, priorities. So, you know, it's not anything to be sad about. You know, it's it's life. Um, you know, it's not like I'm, like, sick or anything or, like, losing my house or anything. No, you know, it's, um, it's all just stay positive. And um, anyway, with that, thanks again. I got to get going. And, um, you know, once uh, that next race takes place between Siberian Bull 9 and Chrissy. Chrissy, I think, is a known figure in the Mega Man speedrunning community. I don't have any experience racing them in the randomizer. I think they're new to it. Um, but I think skilled and experienced in Mega Man, maybe. So let's see how it goes. But th their race is going to be this coming Saturday. I may, may uh, schedule mine for as early as, I don't know, like Labor Day weekend, maybe. The Monday, give or take a day. So uh, I'll try and make it happen quick. I don't know if I'm going to practice, though. But uh, anyway, cool. Buster only PB for Mega Man 2 randomizer against Kami Senden. It is a good day. I'm going to sleep well. You guys should all do the same. Take care and see you soon.